What is that? What is that? Squirrel. 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 Hey, good morning, guys. Thanks for coming back. We've got a, uh, a fun little video for you this morning. Something that we did to upgrade the house and prepare for this winter time. And uh, this is something that we had done. I did this install this last fall when it was still warm, so you wonder why there's no snow on the ground. Uh, we're in the middle of February right now, and I kind of wanted to do a, uh, a before and after kind of video and uh, give you guys an update on, on an upgraded propane tank. So let's, uh, let's go check it out. Welcome to Hidden Valley Homestead, where my wife Olivia and I escaped the city to homestead our off-grid property in Idaho. This is our journey. All right, so last winter time, we had this 500 gallon tank, and let me flip you around and show you. 500 gallon propane tank, and we had three months of almost no sun, so my solar panels were hardly charging the batteries. So we ran the generator quite a bit, unfortunately, so now I have better batteries, but I didn't want to run out of propane again this year, so we are putting a thousand gallon of variable tank in the ground. So, the guy should be here in a few minutes, and we're gonna put this thing in the ground. We'll disconnect this one. He'll pump out the propane that's in here, put it in here. So you guys will ask, uh, why a bigger tank? For a couple of reasons. A variable tank, you can put 5% more propane in than an above ground tank. Instead of 85%, they can fill it 90%. Plus a thousand gallon tank will allow me to have enough propane to last throughout the winter time. I'm hoping not to use that much propane this year, but we'll see what happens. Uh, the pricing at the end of summertime is almost, I don't know, 30, 40 cents per gallon cheaper than if we get it in January, February. So I think last year I paid two, oh, I think it was 220. This year it's 185. So if I can get it at 185 and save myself, you know, 35 cents a gallon, why not? So here we go. So I've variable tank the tank is going to be three foot in diameter by about 16 feet long they wanted a six foot hole with a foot of fluffy dirt in the bottom you put peat gravel or sand in here or fluffy dirt without any rock they don't want that thing sitting on rocks and uh it's going to be very interesting we're going to put some anodes in the, in the dirt and then i'm going to bury this sucker What's that thing way empty? Is it really that much? Wow. And the tank is in the ground. I gotta backfill it. Anodes, that way the tank doesn't rust out. Now he's gonna be transferring the the propane that's in this tank to this tank wired up put the top on put the new connections on and done deal okay now it is time to fill in the hole this is gonna be the fun part check it out so the line needs to be 18 inches deep which is where it started off at but uh, the hole is down here, so I don't want, if anything ever ever to happen, I do not want to have to dig all the way down there. So I'm going to pull this line up out of the way, backfill this first, until I get it about uh, oh, the same level as the trench. And then I'm going to put the line back in, and then we'll finish back down. All right, I've got this pretty well backfilled. I'm going to make sure this is 24 inches and get this hose down here. And uh, then I can finish burying this thing. I've got that thing 24 inches deep. And I'm going to continue back filling. Okay, guys, we're going to go check out this propane tank. And uh, I had 
I deliberately left the, the end of that video off because I wanted to check this thing after a couple of months to see how much propane we'd used. Because if you remember me in the first part of the video talking about how we used uh, a lot of propane last year with the cold weather. Well, this year it's a little different with the weather, with the El Nino that we've had, and it hasn't been very cold. We had uh, we had one week where it was, you know, minus 20 or something like that, but otherwise it was uh, pretty amazing this year. But let's uh, let's check out the propane tank. Okay, guys, you guys remember what that big pill looked like sitting right here? It was a big old ugly thing. Well, that's all we have sticking out of the ground right there is that, uh, that black top. Let's go check our propane levels. Got about maybe a foot on the ground, but it's melting fast. And so we had stuck this over the top of it to keep too much rain and snow from going through. But you have to have a hole up here to uh, for aeration. Yeah, it looks like we've got a little bit of water that's accumulating there, but not horrible. It's not full by any means, so that's pretty normal when everything's melting. So let's see how much propane we've used. Well, it's showing right at just a smidge below 60. So if this thing was filled up to 90%, it's gone down 30%. 30% of about 900 gallons is about uh, 270 gallons. So not bad. This is nice because I can just shut the cover now. I don't have this big ugly pill buck sitting up here. Put this back over the top of it. Try and minimize the amount of water going in there. All right, guys, so there's the propane tank. It definitely looks nicer here. A big reason why we went off grid was so that we're not connected to and not dependent on uh, power or water or whatever. We can be self-sustaining. However, propane is what we use for cooking and whatnot. And at some point, with the way the world's going, there's a good chance that propane will become unavailable or there'll be a definitely a, a, a coming interruptions in the supply chain. Uh, the bigger tank allows us to stockpile a lot. Um, and then during the winter time, uh, if we don't have any power, uh, we have to run the generator. So that's definitely going to be something that we have to address at a future date and watching the way things are going. But as of right now, this tank saved us a ton of money. It looks like we used about 270 gallons. Last year we used, gosh, we used over 500 gallons last year because there was so much cold and it was such an extended cold period. But um, keeping the place warm... Uh, but running the generator when there's no when there's no sun for solar. Otherwise, these solar panels, once we get a couple hours of sun with that battery bank that I just installed, I've got plenty of power to last me all night and the next day, almost two days worth of storage power, uh, storage capacity. Excuse me. So I think we're uh, we're we're doing pretty good up here. Um, place looks better, looks a little cleaner without that big pill sitting out in front. And uh, so we're going to be continuing to modify and improve the place. I've got a deck that we just built on the other side. The other deck was falling apart, so stay tuned for that. That's coming out this next week. Uh, a lot of work on that, so pretty proud of that thing. That was, that was a fun build. So thanks for watching, you guys, and uh, happy 24. It's going to be a crazy year, guys.